doing a short video on the finding tire information for your car. I'm just going to use the vehicle that we've got in the shop here and the tire placard that I'm referring to will be mounted somewhere in the door jam or in this case it's on the back of the door. And when you see it, you'll notice or realize that it's talking about the vehicle, the gross vehicle weight, rear and front axles. Uh, then you get to this section here, you can see they're talking about tires, tire sizes, front and rear, rim size, and pressure, recommended tire pressure. Uh, and this is also something else, cold. You should not have driven your car when you check your tire pressure. That's what it means by cold, because obviously temperature is going to change if it's in the summer or in the winter time. But what that means is we've not driven the car. So once you found out uh, what tires are recommended, and I use that vehicle because this vehicle here, the tire placard, this is not showing us any information about the tires, and I was unable to find anything in the car it looks to me like that could have been it and it's just badly faded that it uh, has no more information visible so I wanted to use this car because these tires have been clean and they're easy to see and I'm thinking that they'll show up good in the video for you so we know what tire size is, belongs in the vehicle because you looked at the tire placard now you can go around and compare the actual tires that are on the vehicle and I'm looking at the sidewall of the tire and they will all have the tire dimensions on here whether it's a uh, passenger car tire usually it's a p could be an lt in front of this number here that's for, stands for light truck uh, this first number this right angle is going to be your section width how wide is the tire at its widest point which you can see how the sidewall bows out a little bit. So that's what they're gonna measure, not the tread width, but the sidewall. So that's section width, and this is telling me that this tire here is 195 millimeters wide. The next part's the aspect ratio, and in the assignment it's asking for section height. So you're gonna have to do a little math here because this is actually a percentage. It's this wide, 195. This one is 60% as wide or as tall as it is wide. So it's height over width is how they come up with this number here. So if it was 100 right there, it'd be 195 wide and 195 millimeters tall. So lower this number is, the lower the profile or the lower the tire is going to sit. Uh, next, then we go to the type of construction of the tire, and just about everything's going to be radial now, so that's that's pretty easy. And in your tire uh, diameter, the wheel diameter from here to here, it's also the rim size uh, in diameter. So, and that is actually in inches. They they've kept that. Then we've got the speed and load rating here, and you can look that up to see what your tires are rated for speed wise and also load this m plus s is for mud and snow now we have some other uh, numbers in here that i wanted to we won't break this tire completely down they've got um, traction how how long they'll last and wear um, type of uh, material how hard it is but i wanted to show you you're going to ask to be looked to look up the date of the tire and you see the DOT, Department of Transportation. There's some other lettering here. And then this stamp, it looks like they've taken a hot stamp and placed it onto the sidewall. Those four digits mean it was this tire was built the 24th week of 2017. If it was built in the 2000 or later, it's gonna have four digits if it was built prior to the year 2000 it will have three digits 
you should not have any tires on your vehicle with three digits. This is 20 years later. So they, uh, the tire manufacturers, they say about seven years and I've ran them longer, but that's what they're, you're going to see if you want to um, follow the guidelines for recommended for, you know, safety wise. Uh, what else have we got? So that's the main thing that I wanted you to try and identify. And then you can go around to all the tires and make sure that they are the right tires for your vehicle to make sure that they fit. These are a set, so I know that they are the same size, uh, diameter, shape, and so on. Uh, aspect ratio would be the same. So that's what I'm looking for to have you go and be, get familiar with your car or vehicle that you're using and a little bit familiar with the tires. Also, I just about forgot tread. We want to find out what the tread is uh, like on their vehicle, how good the tread is. And there's some wear bars to help you. 230 seconds or a 16th of an inch is the legal limit. So if you take a tape measure and you place it into the tire tread right here, we've got a gauge here at school that we use, but come from the side, stick your tape measure in and see what it measures. That tells you your tread depth. It should be the deeper, obviously the better it's gonna handle uh, water on the road this time of year, traction, grip on corners and stopping, getting stopped in time, especially for um, emergency or panic stops and just control the vehicle. Um, okay, and I think that's it. Hope this will help you out and looking forward to seeing your video.